What's up everybody? My third time trying to record this video because I got no space on my phone here. So let's 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 see if this works. Third time's a charm, right? So I'm out here on a walk because it's beautiful out. Um, that means you're all gonna be outside for your workout as well. My arm's falling off here. I've been holding this phone up for the past 20 minutes trying to get this video done. But let's get into it. So we're gonna be doing sprints today. So definitely, definitely warm up as you need. So minimum is gonna be of 10 minutes walking and jogging intervals. So definitely want you to do both. Uh, but the intervals can be up to you, however long you jog before you walk again, whatever. But it's just gonna be 10 minutes minimum. And then we're gonna do three rounds of mobility. We're going six big step lunges per side. 12 good mornings and then six big arm circles forward and then six backwards so go slow with these go through the full range of motion right we're warming the body up to do something uh, of higher intensity <clears throat> so we're getting the hips open posterior chain ready shoulders because you're gonna be swinging at the arms swinging at the shoulders when you're when you're doing these so when it comes to sprinting, right, everybody's going to be at a different level. Nobody's going to be, you know, an elite sprinter. If you're worried about injury, you know, joint or pulling something, take some extra time to warm up. Maybe do an extra 10, 5 or 10 minutes uh, of the warm up. Do an extra round or two of the mobility. And uh, when it comes to this workout, definitely, definitely try your best, but also know your body's limit. Um and we'll get into it so you want to find a distance of 30 to 50 meters and a distance of 60 to 80 meters now obviously this can be in the same place you'll just have two kind of markers to note where you know the 30 to 50 is in the 60 to 80 and i just give a range because everybody's going to be in a different spot somebody might be on a track somebody might be in a parking lot Maybe it's your backyard or your sidewalk or your street, wherever. So we're starting with the short distance, the shorter distance. We're going three sprints, sprints at 50%, so half speed. Then we're doing three at 75% speed. And then we're doing three at 100%, so full speed. Then we're going to move on to the longer distance we're just going to do one at 50 percent and one at 75 percent and then we're going to do our three at 100 percent so three full speed at that longer distance rest times for this workout is going to be however long it takes you to walk back so you do your sprint as soon as you're done you turn around you start walking back you don't have to walk fast you can walk slower but definitely make sure you're just walking back and then once you get to that start point again you turn around and you go right you don't want to be waiting too long uh, the point of the sprint intervals is to keep the rest to a minimum so you can get that aerobic benefit that conditioning like benefit where you're breathing heavy uh, but you're also training the uh, anaerobic aspect of it of course because sprinting is like I said it's high intensity um, so the rest is whatever the time it takes to walk back and that's it um, when you switch distances if you need you can rest for two or three minutes but like I said you, you want to keep it to a minimum um, and then of course when you're done do your burpees or if you want to do them later at night or if you did them already that's fine uh, but don't forget about those and uh, like I said the most important thing for this one is giving your best but making sure you're ready to give your best right don't just roll out of bed and start sprinting that's how that's how injuries happen right give yourself plenty of time to warm up and go at the level you can handle if you need to do more sprints at 50% before you go faster, that's okay too. Um, and the last thing is, 
you know, it feels like we've all been stuck here inside for three months now or whatever. And uh, I know there's, you know, little motivation to do anything, but just getting outside, it helps. I promise it does. It's good for you. I know I say that all the time. It's good for you. Um, but it is, right? Um, just go outside. Even if you just start with the walk, who knows? Maybe once you're done with your walk, you'll have the motivation to do extra sprints. So we'll be back tomorrow. We've got the uh, stretching and mobility it's Friday. So give this one your best. Let me know how you do. And no matter what, like I said, just go outside. Trust me.